Are you looking for an answer to all your problems? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you where every problem originates, how to position yourself for a better life, and how trusting in God produces breakthrough for you. Let's go. Welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Stephen Lin, and you get to join me in my library at home. And I use this as a personal prayer room. And you get to discover how to have a vital connection with God and have evident results through personal prayer encounters with Him. And in this video, I'm going to show you the answer to everything. Oh my goodness. Imagine if you don't know the answer and finding it out. When my wife, Dr. Carmen, went to Bible college, if she didn't know an answer on the test, she would write, Jesus. And she would be given half marks for her answers. So how could you give a wrong answer for her saying Jesus? Well, here's the answer to everything. But I really believe the answer to everything is a yielded heart in prayer to Jesus. It's a solution. It's the answer. It's the problem solved in our lives. It is the key if you have a yielded heart to God. Wouldn't the world be a wonderful place if every human were actually yielded to God? Oh my goodness, there'd be no fights, there'd be no arguments, no killing. And we would see that this world would be an idyllic, beautiful location, almost like the Garden of Eden. Well, there are three types of people in the world. There are three types of ours, religion, rebellion, and relationship. And so it's not, not a perfect world. We, we can't have everybody being, being absolutely uh, yielded to God. It would be beautiful if we could. So what is religion? Religion is man's attempt to control God, to, to make up you know, um, doctrines and ideas that restrict his movements because it makes them feel safe. What about rebellion? It's man's attempt to be free from God, where they don't have to follow some type of rule or regulation. Well, then relationship is man's attempt to yield to God. And when we look at the world, there have been many wars started in the name of religion. But there's also been wars started in the name of rebellion, people rising up and trying to take over. But I imagine if everybody had an intimate personal relationship with the loving God, not religion and not rebellion, they would be drawn closer to him, pouring out his love, and the world would be a better place. And so when we look at this, we see in Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 40, Jesus answered and he said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Love your neighbors as you love yourself. He was bringing the solution here to religion and rebellion. And what he wanted to do was share the heart of love. The world becomes a better place when we individually decide to do this. When we seek a loving relationship with God, every day I come to God and, and seek his heart and have allow his love to pour into me. I make this world a better place incrementally. Every human doing that would, would overflow this world with love. So if I can get as many people as I can watching this video and getting them to reach out and draw on God's love through personal relationship, this world would be so much better. So how about you? Let's do that. And so when we look at this, we, we want to understand the cure to religion and rebellion in the world is yielded loving relationships to God. And we even see that Jesus says in John 10:10, 10, 10, "The thief comes only in order to steal, kill and destroy. I have come in order that you might have life, life in all its fullness." It is so sad when a believer gets caught up in religion or when a believer gets caught up in rebellion. But let me tell you, any time we turn away from intimate personal relationship with God, we have just stepped into religion or rebellion for ourselves because we've turned away from relationship with him. So I want to inspire you and encourage you to draw near to God in relationship so you can have an amazing life in all its fullness. Can I pray for you right now? Father, I pray for everybody watching this YouTube channel.
that we'd be drawn into intimate personal relationship with you and we can draw on your love that changes our lives and changes this world. And Lord, that this place can be a better place because we let your love flow in and through us. Thank you, Jesus. So now we're going to have a look at the second part of this video. And we're going to discover a yielded life is positioned to be a better life. You can actually make a choice to change <laughs> by drawing near to God and allowing His love to saturate and change your life through personal relationship with Him. And we see in the story of Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah, he had written a letter from God to the to the people who were taking, taken away to Babylon, the Israelites. And he said, God was speaking, I alone, God says, know the plans I have for you. Plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster. Plans to bring about the future you hope for. So they were hoping to be brought back into their homeland in, in, in Israel. But they were taken away into Babylon. But he said, even as they're going away, he spoke to them and said, you're going to be there for 70 years. You know, have wives and children and families and set up homes there and be a, be a blessing to that new nation, that country you get taken into. Because the prosperity of that nation will, will, show, will share, will be covering you. The peace of that nation will cover you. So be there. Don't, don't cause problems for them. And he said that he'd bring them back. And so when we look at this, God showed us that he had plans for prosperity. The deeper and richer your yielded relationship is with God, the greater your life will prosper. And we see in Jeremiah here, they had turned away from God. They had rebelled from him. And because of that, they ended up in another nation. But the word prosperity there, even in their trials and tribulations, God wanted good things for them. The word prosperity there is peace. And the context is a life yielded to God's goodness. And he'll bring us out of all of our struggles and pain. But the word for prosperity there is peace. To be safe, to be complete, nothing missing, nothing broken. To be healthy, to have security, to have tranquility, welfare, success, comfort, salvation, wholeness, a satisfied condition, blessing. <laughs> And so when we see this and we look at the context of this in Jeremiah 29, 11 to 14, you can see that God wanted to bring them back eventually. The more you get to know God, the more you discover that he's not out to get you. He's not out to do you harm. He's not out there to be a mean, angry God. The more time I spend in prayer. And the more time I spend in worship and, and reading the Bible and taking notes for you guys, the more I discover in my personal prayer times that God is not out to get me to do harm, to give me a terrible life. But as I draw near to him and yield to his heart, I'm positioning myself to have a better life. And he was speaking through Jeremiah to the Israelites and he said, you will seek me and, and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you and I will bring you back from your captivity. They'd been taken away because of their rebellion, but God had desired. He had a plan that he knew about alone. He knew about that he was going to prosper them to bring them back to their place of security, to bring them back to their place of welfare in Israel and to have a satisfied condition. They'd be back at home and they would be free from captivity to evil. And that is the context of this peace and prosperity there. And God wants to set you free from all captivity to evil situations. That rebellion and religion release. Remember John 10.10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. And he uses rebellion and religion to do so. So draw near to God in intimate relationship. Position yourself under his goodness to do you good. And so as we get into this, we see here that religion and rebellion position people for pain. But relationship with God always leads people into a more satisfying life experience. And I want to encourage you to jump into a more satisfying life experience. 
If you've been getting something out of this video so far, I welcome you to hit the like button and the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can find out when a new video comes out. And for the last five minutes of this video, we have the exciting conclusion. Trust is cultivated by personal relationship. Trust produces amazing things in our life. God reveals his secrets to those who trust him. And we've got to trust him to be able to hear these secrets. <laughs> Why would God begin to reveal his promises, his secrets, his covenants, his plans with us, <laughs> to each one of us, to you even, if you don't trust him? God is not going to waste his time, his resources, and everything he has for people who don't trust him. Why? Because it's a waste of effort. It's a waste of energy. But what God will do is he will call out and draw us to him first to trust him. It takes a yielded heart, a surrendered heart, not to trust anymore just in your own understanding, your own opinions, your own mindsets, your own philosophies and ideologies. No, but to come and yield them to God and receive his wisdom so that he could build trust in our hearts, so that he could begin to trust us with his secrets. And so when we look at this, we see in Psalm 25 verse 14, the secret of the sweet, satisfying companionship of the Lord have they who fear, revere, and worship him. And he will show them, that's you and I, his covenant and reveal to them its deep inner meaning. The deep inner meaning of God's covenant, his relationship with us, is his passionate, providential, or divine care of humanity. The deep secret, it's not so deep, but the real deep truths are that God loves the humans. And he only desires for good for us. And he only wants his perfect will to bring us forward and onward into life on this planet and eternity with him. He doesn't want to hurt us or harm us or have bad future in, in front of us. His desire is for good. And so this takes trust for him to be able to tell us this and believe this. But do you trust that all God does and leads us into is for our benefit? If you truly trust him... <laughs> The fruit of that is that you'll come in intimate relationship and rely on him daily. And you might say, well, I still trust him, but I don't spend as much time with him as you, Pastor Steve. <laughs> I didn't have a devotional life when I first became a believer. I didn't understand. I didn't know what that meant to pray every day, read my Bible every day. But my best friend, Darren Radford, who led me to the Lord, said it is so important to know God to build a relationship with him because then he is free to build trust in you and through that trust and faith he's able to move to do good things in your life so that's how i was started in the process of this prayer relationship with god and we see in the message bible the same verse psalm 25 verse 14 there's a private place reserved oh that word reserved don't you love going in a restaurant and have your reservation <laughs> for your private place reserved for the devoted lovers of yahweh our god where they sit near him and receive the re relational secrets the, sorry revelation secrets of his promises. When we're close to God, when we sit with him, when we abide with him, we're given that reserved place for those who are not religious, for those who are not rebellious, but those who come to seek intimate personal relationship with him. Trust produces blessing and breakthrough because we're open to God's will and purposes. In the extended version of this vi this video, and I want to encourage you to, to get that after this video, press on the button that shows that, but Mary and Martha story in Luke 10. It talks about that place that the Mary came and sat and found that place at his feet. It was her reserved place, and Jesus said, it won't be taken away from you. 
You'll be given secrets. You'll be given promises. And, 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 and all this revelation will pour out for you as it pertains to the answer to everything. Oh my goodness. Don't you want to have the answer to everything? Don't you want to be drawn into that place where you're positioned for God to do you good? Hey, I want to encourage you to, to click on that video for the extended version. Thank you.